Well, it's very difficult to try and reconstruct this because obviously there was no access to Butcher uh, as long as the Russians were there. And even now it's severely limited. But we have heard reports today from a satellite company that some of these uh, alleged mass graves were already being excavated uh, days and weeks before the Russians left uh, Butcher. Uh, so you know, those seemingly some preparations going on there. Uh, we have stories from eyewitnesses talking about people going missing, people being killed. Um, you hear about uh, Russian forces looking for people who were involved in the territorial forces as well, looking for civilians and accusing civilians of being uh, participating in that uh, military activity against them. Um, you hear just of a climate of fear, people who are there basically cut off from the outside world for weeks at a time, um, often with very little in the way of connection, mobile phone connection, ability to find out what was going on outside. And uh, generally now, among ordinary Ukrainians, extraordinary uh, shock and disbelief kind of turning into anger now seeing these images of civilians with their arms tied killed I think people thought here that they had seen it all after they'd seen the images of Mariupol of uh, civilians basically uh, surrounded for weeks at a time and basically indiscriminate shelling uh, being used against residential districts those images of Mariupol of Mariupol of people having to bury their uh, loved ones in their gardens because there was nowhere, no morgues, no infrastructure to deal with those civilian victims. But here, seemingly a whole new quality of violence and of targeted killing of civilians. Um, I think people here are now just kind of digesting that. And obviously there is the hope now on the part of the Ukrainian government that that will finally force uh, Western European uh, countries and the US to do more, to provide more weapons, to up sanctions against Russia. Um, you hear something time and time again here in Ukraine. It says, they say to you, we don't need sympathy. We don't need empathy. We don't need compassion. We need weapons and we need sanctions.